Hi there Paint Shop Pro users, welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. This is a video tutorial on turning this photograph into a high key image. And I've also suspect that not an awful lot of you Paint Shop Pro users are using tablets and you should be using a tablet because with this tutorial especially a tablet is really useful. So let's get started. We're going to make this into a high key. What that means is we're going to desaturate it and we're going to make it as black and white as we can and then we're going to use the uh, the light and darken tool and the dodge tool to get rid of all the black and just have a really cool looking photograph at the end. So I have to talk fast and I have to work fast because I only got 10 minutes and uh, I want to finish this. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to desaturate this and what we're going to do is use a channel mixer and you can see in here I've got my copy of raster 1 and raster 1 and I have no idea why these are sitting on the side. They should be up here but they somehow migrated over here and if anybody knows let me know how to get them back. Okay anyways uh, we're going to make a new channel mixer. It's uh, yeah, right here. Okay so it's there. I can just move this off so you can actually see what's going on. Channel mixer. Here is the channel mixer. Normally under normal circumstances you want to have red, green plus blue to equal a hundred percent. Red is 100%. I know from past experience that if I put it in green or blue, I get too much dark stuff in here. I don't want dark stuff. And I am going to defy the rules. And fun is had by defying rules from time to time. I'm going to turn this up a bit. 122. Let's see how that looks. We can still see a bit of her lips. Uh, let's take it off just a bit. Okay. We're going to accept that. Okay. There she is. Now what I want to do is I want to merge down the layers that I've got. So I've got this, I want to merge this one and this one. So you go to layers, merge, merge down. And now our layers are here, okay? Now, next thing I'm going to do is go to the adjust menu. Brightness and contrast, highlights, midtone, shadows. There's other ways you can do it. You could do it with curves too. But I'm going to adjust the highlights, the midtones and the shadows on this and you can see what happens as I move these around. Take the shadows down. I want the shadows up real high because what it's doing is it's it's lightening the hair and that means less work later. Uh, Mid-tones. Uh, come on, get there. Eh, let's see. Have we lost anything? We've lost too much. So we're going to take some of that off. And maybe go up just a titch. A titch isn't very much. And highlights crank that up. Okay, so she's still visible. So we'll accept that. Now the next thing we're going to do is, is get rid of this background, this black background here. It looks like she's sitting in a car or something. I don't know where that is. I'm going to use the uh, up here in the top. Living beside your brush tool are all these other things. One of them is called lighten and darken. And this is the, the lighten brush. So it works well to start off with, but later we have to go to the burn um, and dodge tools, the burn tool, or the dodge tool primarily. So you can see I've got this set for opacity, and I'm going to waste some of my precious time and show you what I mean there. This is the lighten brush, and I've got it set for opacity, changes with pressure. And you can, you've got all these different things you can do, but I want it to be pressure on my tablet. And this is one of the reasons why you should be using a tablet. And so I'm going to lighten this up. And you can see how it lightens up nicely there. And what I want to do is get it really light at the edges and get darker into the middle, but not very dark at the end. Okay, so we're going to work with this. Now I've, I've blown four minutes yammering away here, so I'm going to pause this and work at it for a bit. Then I'll come back and I'll show you where the dodge tool comes in. But you can see how that's taking it away quite nicely. Okay, so you just hang on for a while. Okay, I'm back for a few minutes here, and I'm going to change over to the dodge tool now, because the uh, lighten and darken brush isn't having any more effect. And on the top, you'll see off to the right-hand side the limit. I'm going to limit this to highlights. And now this is classified as a highlight, and I've also got this set for opacity, uh, for pressure. So now you can see how it's going to do what I want it to do. It's not doing what I want it to do. There we go. There we go. Okay. 
my computer is so slow. I'd love to do this on my Mac, but my Mac doesn't run PaintShop Pro, which is a real problem for Corel. They should have it running on Paint on uh, Macs. Unless I guess I can put Windows on my Mac, but you know, do I want to do that? I don't know. So uh, now I'm just working away up here and working away down here and I've got only five minutes left so I'm going to have to pause this again. This is frustrating when you only get ten minutes and you have a fifteen minute video you want to do. So you have to have these little spots in here where it's well for you I guess it's not dead air. Anyways I'll work away at this again come back and show you some final stuff. Where's the pot? There it is. I'm back again. I'm almost done here. Um, I've got about four minutes to go. Um, so I've, I've left some stuff undone. Right here on her cheek, her nose there, and this here. I've been over this a whole bunch of times with the, hi with the uh, highlights uh, set in the limits. doesn't work. It doesn't get rid of it. So I'm going to change that to shadow and I'm going to make my brush small. And You do that by pressing the Alt key and moving your pen to the left. There we go. And I'm just going to run up and down this bit and that's the shadow area. It's going to lighten that up. Slowly but surely it does it. Now it's become a mid-tone, so I'm going to change that. See, this, this is a time-consuming thing. If you're trying to do this with a mouse, good luck. It'd be hard to do. Okay, now I'm going to go back to highlights and my limit and make my brush bigger and we'll get around the cheek and the face because you can see there's some gray stuff in here that shouldn't be there. So we'll just kind of work away at that up and around the nose. I've got the uh, hardness set to zero so it's kind of a soft edge brush and you don't get uh, definite goofy lines going on. So there we go. Oops. Okay, now we can just get around the bottom of the lips this little crease here. Now if I was doing this because I wanted to make an incredible thing, I'd be doing it a lot more slowly. And, and I'm sure you will. But this gives you the road map as to what you need to do. And make it a bit bigger here. I want to get under the chin. And there we go. Nice. Seven minutes. Isn't that awful? I have to count time, huh? And in there. Maybe we'll just come across there. Now I kind of like the the eyes dark, but you can you can lighten them up if you want. One place to lighten them up would be in the whites, just in here. To me, that looks a bit better. And maybe take a bit out of there. Okay, so this this is kind of what we're looking for. Now again, you, you'd be working a lot harder. A lot longer to get this right the way you exactly want it because there's no such thing as perfect in this. It's personal taste. It's what you like. Now, one other thing we can do is we can change the the blending mode of this layer. This one here, from normal to luminance, luminance, luminance legacy. And because you've got this layer still here, it's picking up some of the color. So that's kind of cool. So give this a try. It really is a fun, fun technique, and you can do some really dramatic things with it. And I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you find a way to use this yourself, because it really is cool, and it's darn fun to do. Um, I've done it with my dog, Tabitha, the loudmouth from earlier. I've done her, and done a few other shots. You can just amaze your friends and do something real nice for somebody. And we'll just get up around the eye a bit here. I made the brush too small, didn't I? So that's how you do a high key, and you really should be using a tablet because the tablet makes all the difference in the world. It'd be so hard to do this with a mouse. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope you found something that you can uh, make use of. And uh, we'll talk to you later. And I really appreciate your time. Come on, visit my site. This is it right here. And bye now.